สวัสดีค่ะ This is your host k u s u m a y o t a s m u t and welcome to Thailand today. In the last decade, there has been a big jump in numbers of the amusement parks and water parks in Thailand. In addition to the major operators in Bangkok and at some big department stores, new parks are springing up in major tourist spots like Pattaya, Chiang Mai, c h a Am, or Ho h i n and some provinces in the northeastern. Thrilling local amusement park goers with a variety of exciting rides. As operators are complete to offer innovative and heart-beating rides, they must comply with the strictest safety standards for riders. How is Thailand doing on enforcing safety laws on amusement park riders? Thailand today is delighted to welcome Kun w u d i c h a i l e u n g a m o n l e d He is the managing director, consult the Thai Amusement and Leisure Parks Association of International Association of Amusement. He will be briefing us on the association ongoing efforts to make sure Thailand has an internationally acceptable safety standards. Please welcome k u n u t i c h a i l e u n g a m o n l e d He is the managing director and consult of the Thai Amusement and Leisure Parks Association, and also at the International Association of Amusement Park and Attraction, or can easily call A I A A P A. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand today, sir. Welcome. <laughs> well, I would like to start off with the why, what is your inspiration? Why do you want to do amusement? Because you're maybe you're young and you want to have such an amusement. Well, it's a family business. I okay. started from my from my father. Uh-huh. Well, he's he made himself a millionaire from real estate, uh-huh. and then uh, one day he just found out that um, you know he he wanted to give something back to the community. Oh, nice. So what he did, he bought a piece of land mm-hmm. uh, in near b i n m u r i Okay. And then he started building uh, amusement park, mm. and obviously, you know the, that was 30 years ago, where everything was so so far away. Mm. So it was very difficult for for the business. So we were in red for 25 years. Mm. So it will be very difficult to put more investment in. Mm. Once your business are not in profit, then okay. difficult to get financing. Ah. So we have to sell our other property. Okay. Our real estate and put the money back into business. It takes about 30 years until we get our own feet right. But uh, we have to because of that, and we do. We have to appreciate uh, your parents or yourself to stand still, t- even if in that position, because that's the only place I believe in Thailand. We were okay. you were the only first. You were the first one. Or? We are we are the uh, longest. L- Operating oh. amusement park and water park in Thailand. There's okay. a few others like Happy Land uh-huh. was closed down uh-huh. um, many years back, and there's uh-huh. also uh, uh, Magic Land uh-huh. near Central Lat Plao, uh-huh. which was uh, closed down because they uh-huh. ran out of contract. So, yeah. so we are the uh, the longest running operating amusement park and water park in Thailand. Oh, very interesting! Congratulations for that. Thank anyway. you. Thank so, you. how the amusement park business been doing at the moment? In well, we are in a bit of the. Uh, Amusement park and, mus- and water park in Thailand has not separately. It's not one of the the the, the strongest uh, in the industry okay. compared with uh, the rest of the world because uh, yeah. the pricing we have here in Thailand is uh. really low. Uh. If you if you imagine you go to uh. amusement park water park in uh, Malaysia in Singapore, uh, okay. not even the branded one, mm. the local one, mm. they still charge at, la- at least twice uh, what we have what the Thai customer are paying. Mm. So in terms of the In terms of operating, okay. we are at a disadvantage mm. because we bought most of the equipment overseas mm. from uh, Europe, from America, or from Australia, or from mm. Japan, mm. where the costs are the same. They, they, look, they don't look at your ticket price. Mm. They don't say you charge less, we charge you less. Okay. It doesn't matter how much you charge; they're going to charge you the same. Yeah. So that's why we we want as association, we group mm. to ourselves as groups mm. of association mm. and working with other parties mm. to try in, to mm. help and encourage other people that there are standards in which mm. uh, the industry need to keep. When you talk about the pricing, so why do you go on with that? Why why do you have to be suffer with that for the Thai people? Oh, well, it's um, 
it's a philosophy. Okay. It's not profit driven. Ah, okay. It's uh, it's the way he wants. My father wants oh, to run nice it. He he. The policy was to be easy. Okay. If he, they have enough money, uh. then they can fly over to Singapore or Hong Kong yes. and enjoy the mm. amusement park mm -hmm. there. But here, his main target are a group of people who doesn't want mm. or who doesn't have mm. the necessity or the means to travel abroad. Mm. So imagine that ticket price alone, we say ticket price are cheap, but mm. the tickets from here to Singapore mm. is still in thousands. Yes, and uh, for an course. average family, uh -huh. uh, for a daddy and mummy, and two kids, uh -huh. it's gonna take like 10 of thousands, including accommodation to, for them to fly over uh -huh. to Singapore and enjoy the amusement uh, park. Pleasantly, if a person or a family get into your amusement park, uh, what do they see now? Well, we are one of the few parks in the world that offer both amusement park and water park under one ticket. Oh. In most parks in the world, you see they will have, even, even in one property, they mm -hmm. have two or three different attractions. Exactly. They will charge you three or four mm -hmm. different tickets. Mm -hmm. But we are one of the few in the world that charge one ticket because we want the whole family to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So some might want to go enjoy water park, some might want to go enjoy the amusement park, mm -hmm. some might just want to sit and relax. Mm -hmm. So we yeah, want the whole family to stay together and that's the main philosophy that over that's that preside uh. over the uh, profitability of the company. Mm. So since they have trusted you to get into our our amusement park, uh, so how Thailand is doing in comparing with the rest of Asia in terms of technology and safety standards? Well, in terms of technology, we are one of the uh, lag behind, as you uh, mm. as you can imagine, because mm. with the uh, the ticket price, we are probably half the mm. others. Mm. So in terms of revenue, we'll be mm. lower than others. Okay. And and uh, Thailand, there are also other, uh, let's say, tourist attractions that we, mm. we proudly present to the rest of the world, like mm. Sea Sand Sun, mm. culture. Mm. So people in Thailand also enjoy those as well. Mm. So we are in competing with our own natural resources mm. and, you know, and it will be, so we have a lot of competitions. Mm. Uh, in terms of technology, that's why when we invest, mm -hmm. it's difficult mm -hmm. because we invest we, are, we have to buy the prices that they, as, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. it's a price that people pay in the West. Mm, you pay yes, the same price in the US, in, yeah. the, in the UK, or in Japan, mm -hmm. but we charge less. Mm -hmm. But in terms of safety, we never compromise that. I think a lot of parks mm -hmm. in Thailand, uh, a lot of standard parks in Thailand, member of the Thai Association, okay. I can assure you we are up to standards. Everyone okay. look at us and that's why the IAPA, which is the um, International Association of Amusement Park and Attractions, uh, uh, want Thailand to be a hub of Indochina, wow. to, to be the hub uh, to where we can spread all the standards mm. of safety mm. to not just only in Thailand, okay. but to the rest of Indochina. Very interesting. When you say that, uh, then can you go a little in, uh, into what kind of security? But when it's an, it's security is security. So what kind of, please? Exactly. That's what that's what I mean. When we say safety, everyone say uh. they're, they're property and their attractions and their rights are safe. Okay. What do you mean by safe? Uh. So it's a broad interpretation. So uh. what we do is we try to create uh, seminars or meetings in oh. which everyone sit together mm. and we bring in uh, uh, international standards wow. uh, operator, uh. host uh. and uh, suppliers uh. to come and tell, you know, people that this is a standard in which you need to keep. Uh -huh. So people are on the same platform, the same benchmark in which uh -huh. what is safe. Mm -hmm. Do you have uh, sufficient uh, officers or security person to be going around uh, to look after? And that will be difficult because uh, even though it's, we have a Thai association, a lot of attractions are not our members. Okay. We have about 40 mm -hmm. uh, water parks running in Thailand. Most mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. uh, SME mm -hmm. and we have the uh, about 20 uh, attractions that classify themselves as amusement park or related mm -hmm. so but most of them are not our members mm -hmm. so we cannot go and tell them what to do so what mm -hmm. we do is we create a seminar mm -hmm. we do the other way around we create uh -huh. a seminar and ask people to come in uh -huh. and come and participate, participate and listen and ask questions okay so these are supposed to be a role playing by the tapa responsibility on this well, it's not actually low pay. It's not just our responsibility. Mm. It is everyone's responsibility. Okay. So we, that's why we work with the government. Mm. We work with the uh, the uh, Royal Institution of Engineering, mm. which is the uh, non-government sector, and also us as a private sector. And we also work with the IAPA, which is the international bodies, mm. in which we work together. And hopefully, we can 
lend in each other resources and do the best for the Thai uh, amusement park industry. Mm -hmm. In terms of technology, so you bring in the Thai to, to, to be, what do you call it, uh, procurement every now and then? Well, because that's, that's not, there's no law in any country saying uh, oh. what standard to choose. Okay. It's still the operator that needs to choose its own standards. Mm. People were not saying you have to use the American standard or the European standard or the Chinese standard. Mm. You have to choose yourself. But before we get to that standard, there are some things in which we have to understand oh. that a priority uh, before we get to the, the standards. We have mm. to get ourselves up to a level before mm. we can ap apply ourselves to the standards. Mm. So that's what, that's what our main goal is to make sure that people uh, have in mind mm. that a standard are not just what you think. It mm. is standard in which we have to all agree on mm. something. And then we, that's why we draw up a kind of a level of standard. Mm. And then hopefully people will build on that and then they can go on to international level of standards. Mm. That's right. You yourself sometime walking around? Yeah. Have a look yourself? Yeah. Yes. But nobody know who are you. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They do. <laughs> so I have heard that um, the chairman and the members of the, the US-based uh, International Association of the Park, a, what do you call it? IAPA, IAPA, will visit Thailand. This month, is that anything to do? Yes, we have a representative of IAPA to come and join the safety seminar. Oh. Where we, we create a seminar on the 17th of August. Every year? Is it well, yearly? This is, or the, if, uh, this is the IAPA do seminar, safety seminar on mm -hmm. yearly basis. Then oh. they move our country, I move mm -hmm. around countries, they go mm -hmm. to China, go to uh, Indonesia. Who are the members, sir? Who are the members? They are all, uh, like they are the all amusement park in, in the world. Oh, Disney, in the world. Universal, oh. Six Flags, okay. Merlin Group, you know, mm -hmm. or everyone. Uh -huh. Most of the uh, players are in the US and in Europe. Now, uh, memberships in Asia are growing. Oh, yes, as we talk about. But obviously yes. we are, the IAPA mm -hmm. is the private mm -hmm. organization. We're not mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. We don't have any rules or laws, authority to go and tell people what to do. Mm -hmm. But we can, what we can do, we can educate people. Mm -hmm. That's why IAPA will come in yeah. and help the Thai association working oh. with the local government and oh. non-government mm -hmm. and create a safety seminar. Mm -hmm. And they bring in the speakers from around the world. The oh. speaker will come from Canada, okay. come from Hong Kong, come in and they will talk about the safety standards. Mm -hmm. In this case, we look at it as if we are at that level. You know, when you said uh, we are not that, that much, but I think we are in the front, otherwise uh, those members will be looking back and around you and what is this, <laughs> right? Yes, um, there are le different levels of standards. Uh -huh. You can push up. Okay. So there are always progression. You in cannot which push down. You have to push up all the time. Unlikely. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's not uh -huh. worth pushing down, you have uh, to go out. Of course, of course. You, yes. It's a progress. Mm -hmm. So we keep telling people, you know, that's the way things are. Mm -hmm. If you can do better, then it's fine. You can move forward. Mm -hmm. then it's something that you might forgot, something mm -hmm. you might not look at, sometimes you might not see as important. Mm -hmm. Then we have to tell them that, you know, this is something that uh, is important, mm -hmm. that happened, that some cases happen. We learn from our friends. Mm -hmm. So something that never to happen to our property, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it never happened. Mm -hmm. So people from other property will come and tell us that this thing happened. Mm -hmm. So the best thing for us is, you know, we are operator. We, we want people to be happy when they come to our parks. Mm -hmm. We don't want people to get hurt or injured. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to make sure we have to take, to take precautions. Mm -hmm. You said you use the word friend. So you are not competitor to each other? We're, com we're competing in a way, but we compete in terms of creative competition. Very good. We Very don't actually cutthroat competition, oh, but okay. what we do is we, we, we try to bring value to our customers. That's uh -huh. where we compete. We bring uh -huh. in new attraction, bring in new shows, new, new uh, festival, and create something for customers to come. And that's the, that's the way we compete. Frankly, it is difficult to operate this kind of business. It is. I mean, you have to look after human beings and animals and, and you know. Yes, it is di very difficult. First mm -hmm. of all, in terms of investment, as you said, as we just mentioned, it is difficult because mm -hmm. it requires a big investment mm -hmm. and the payback period are long. Mm -hmm. unlike, unlike, unlike many mm -hmm. other business, it takes nearly 10 years. <gasps> and when you say 10 years, you know, financial institutions don't like it. When you go to the bank and said, you know, can, can I have a, a loan for 1 billion baht, you know? Uh, what's your pay, break even? <laughs> 10 years and say, uh, see you next time. <laughs> right. Nice to see you, but <laughs> bye bye. Uh, and that's something difficult. Uh -huh. and, and in terms of the dealing with people, as you know, service industry, mm. dealing with people are difficult. Mm. No, don't, don't mention animals. Mm. Yes, people are difficult. And mm. we have to be careful because we are dealing with one of the most valued 
a resource into a vicious human being. Mm. You know, something happened to them, it's very difficult. Mm. So we have learned from our experience. Mm -hmm. So we have to learn how to uh, minimize the risk. Mm -hmm. And also, it's not just us who have to minimize the risk. We have to make sure that the way we do business, mm -hmm. uh, we also minimize the risk of the customers. Mm -hmm. the Labors, like, as you call labors or employees, I don't know. But uh, they are what? They are uh, they are Thai or they are from uh, from our friends, Asian friends. Well, mostly are Thai. Well, mostly. But we we do have uh, our friends labor for from Asian to accommodate because uh, mm -hmm. as we become uh, AEC community soon, mm -hmm. uh, obviously uh, we need someone who can speak local language, mm -hmm. not just English. Okay. Uh, Thai a very good service uh, provider, but yes. we are. We are not that good in terms of uh, language. So we speak uh, one common language, which is uh, Thai, and uh, we speak a little English. Uh, so sometimes we need the customers to, to require English, then mm -hmm. we need uh, friends, uh, others who help us. And also, since there are a lot of travelers coming to Thailand from ASEAN country, mm -hmm. sometimes we need people who speak different dialects, like Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, like Malay, mm -hmm. uh, or even sometimes Catalog, the, the Filipinos language, Filipinos. Of, of Myanmar, or Laos, or Cambodian. Mm -hmm. You are ready to accommodate them if they are here at the end of the year. They're flooding in. Yes, the we also have. We have most for most country in ASEAN. Mm -hmm. We, well, I think, every country in ASEAN, we have experience of mm -hmm. the, them visiting the park. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously, the closer they are, like Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, the more they came. Okay, that is so good. So, uh, how about a country out of ASEAN, but coming to be ASEAN? That is Timor Leste. Do you have a look at that? Because I've been there and uh, they want that. Now I'm using the stage to tell you that they wanted an, an amusement. Do you have any future plan for uh, any other exploring into our country? Yes, we do, but we're not going that far. Even though in ASEAN, but I think we look at Indochina. Okay. Because uh, that's where we can lend our, uh, we can extend our expertise mm -hmm. and using the same resources space mm -hmm. in Thailand. Mm -hmm. If you go to a country far away like Brunei or uh, Timor Leste or Indonesia, mm -hmm. then we have to set up different um, operation there mm -hmm. because we cannot travel. It takes three or four hours to travel. Mm -hmm. But here, if you base in Thailand, in Bangkok, you can travel to up to Laos or Vietnam within one or two hours and mm -hmm. you can do day trips or one night trip. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is your word of assuring of Thais or foreign people who are passionate about amusement rights? Well. First of all, you have to be. You have to trust the operator. Mm. Obviously, there are mm. a lot of operators in in the world, and you know you can see them. Sometimes we classify as amusement park, mm. but sometimes we don't classify them as amusement park. But mm. anyway, but if you, if you see it, you have to trust them. First mm. of all, mm. and two, you have to use your own instinct. Mm. Sometimes it doesn't look good. It's not good. So mm. make sure that you don't go in things that you don't you don't actually don't feel it. Mm. But in most, well, all of the uh, fix fixed location amusement park that I have been visiting in mm. Thailand, mm. they are of good qualities. Okay. And yeah. they were not uh, on intentionally uh. go out there to hurt people. Uh. They are there, they're spending lots of money, make sure that safety are up to standards. But obviously parks like us, where there are millions of people visiting, there are always risks of the being injured. Mm. You yourself, have been trying all these by themselves? I've been on the rides. On the rides? Ev each and every one yes. of it? How many times a month? Well, not recently, no. <laughs> you get, get, as you get older, uh -huh. then you don't go on the rides as much. But uh -huh. uh, when I was younger, yes, I go quite a lot. Uh -huh. But right now, I do go on the rides on mm -hmm. different parks, not, not as much on my own park. Mm -hmm. But when if my friends come to the park, it's all customary that you know, when my friends come, mm -hmm. and if I have time, I go walk with them, I go out on the ride with them. Oh, I would love to see that one day. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come to the park. I do. And uh, so, uh, how about the cooperation? Do you think the government or something can, can come into it, or we want it be purely on on your own. Uh, what well, they can do, better. they can do both. Uh -huh. But obviously, when sometimes when government come in, uh, it depends on how they want to do it. Mm. If they want to help running it, mm. it might be a bit of difficult because we in the private sector mm. are more flexible. Mm. Uh, the government come in, they have uh, rules and 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 things they have to watch out. Uh, if they don't, if they don't come in in terms of management. Sometimes they're reluctant to, to, to invest. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we ask now, sometimes we want uh, the government to help more mm -hmm. in terms of uh, 
uh, the government now are doing good job in encouraging new attractions. Mm. But I, ask, I urge the government to help uh, look, keep uh, looking back at the existing attractions. Mm. And not just in the amusement park, in our tourism industry, mm. where it require like hotel, where it require heavy investment. I ask them to to look at uh, in terms of supporting, mm. asking this existing mm. operator mm. to reinvest mm. and renovate it. Mm. You know, to create uh, efficiency, to make sure that we can compete with the rest of the A AEC community. Mm. And that will be difficult because some of the attractions are very old. Mm. And when, when you're facing the local competitor, it's fine. But when you're facing the other competitors within the AEC, mm. like Malaysia, Singapore, then you're in, in disadvantage. So mm. equipment can support us in anywhere we, because a lot of our equipment are classified as luxuries. Ah, so yes. we are, the, the, the import tax are expensive. Uh, mm, mm, so the, we're not, you know, it's like in 10, 20 or 30 percent bracket. So yeah. it's difficult sometimes. People, that's why people are reluctant to, to reinvest. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. cheaper to buy or uh, build new things than uh, to yeah. remodel or reinvest in the old things. Okay. And, and that's maybe wrong. Yeah. Listen to you and such a beaming face and such a hopeful the way you talk and all that. So even if you waste away from your parents who are in difficult time, but again, you I don't know how much you're in difficult time, but what about in the future of your children? Do you think this this, this uh, business is going to be to be there and to be more to be to be sold to uh, appreciation by all like this well we're in a world where it's difficult to tell the children what you want to do in the future mm. so what we do is we, we bring them into an industry oh, in our right. own in industry oh, okay. uh, they are the world travel I, take, I took them to uh, parks in the world mm. you know like in the US mm. you know I, I'm going to take them to the park in the UK mm. there are parks in Singapore and Hong Kong for them to talk not just enjoy the park mm. in the future when they grow up they have to talk to people who in the industries oh. and then they have to decide they can decide themselves when uh, what the future brings for them if they don't want to do it then we find Fine. a way to do it we might put yeah. this uh, company in the stock market oh. and then let the professional run it and then mm. if my children want to do something else then it's up to them mm. if they want to run the, the business they will come my last but not least question is <laughs> today consider a success business your family business a success one or a well we oh yeah to do, do by our definition yes it's a success mm. because what we want is we want people to be happy and what we do is we that's why people come to the parks mm. Mm. and they're happy and sometimes it's frustrating because we want to do something excellently good for mm. our customers mm. but we don't want to alienate it, alienate it them because by doing it's too luxuries we mm. are ruling out the customer we want to. That's why mm. some of the parks are not doing the, um, the Disney or Universal mm. thing mm. because that's what we're going to be aiming at the middle and low end mm. of the market where the ordinary Thai mm. who uh, do not need to spend as much money travel our country can mm. come in and enjoy. And we want to make sure that they come in to the park and feel comfortable and enjoy the park. Please. Uh accept my appreciation thank you and uh, wish you all the best in thank your you. business thank you. Thank you. so uh, but i before but no no i still have a minute for you ah, okay. please convey the message with this uh, to the people to trust you to be to such a reliable amusement place for the thai people and the rest of the world oh my message to the people of thailand is that uh, you know thailand uh, amusement park is somewhere the whole family can enjoy so come in and try it and enjoy it because the last thing we want is an accident that mm -hmm. happened in the park. So mm -hmm. come in and enjoy it and trust the property that you come in. But like anything else, or like all things in the world, so you have to trust your in instincts. Even though you go to a good property, mm -hmm. well, it doesn't look good, doesn't sound good, don't go in. Mm -hmm. And make sure you tell the people involved, tell the, tell the, uh, the, the staff there that do you feel, you smell, or you hear something that's not correctly. Then they will know if something's wrong. Yes. Thailand Today would like to thank Kun Wuti Chai Leung Amon Leut from the to you know to be the to the amusement and the Leisure Park Association to who give us a review on the amusement park business in Thailand. He also assures us that the operators, the association and the government are working closely to ensure the strictest safety at all types of fun parks in the country. 
So buckle up and enjoy your ride. Thank you very much. Good night. Take care, Swadika. So thank you much for watching Thailand. I'm Kusma Jyotish. So see you next time then, Swadika.